everyone DIY your house husband here <clears throat> so in this video we will be checking this wire harness and the codes that I gave in the uh, first uh, video okay so uh, maybe you can print this one if you want to if you have the same car as mine and then we will be uh, checking it uh, checking this one if this is true using a multi meter so i have with me this analog multimeter you can use any multimeter digital or whatsoever okay so the first thing that we will be looking will be locating we will be locating the ground wire so the ground wire is actually the black wire with uh, a yellow stripe and then we will see if it is going to have a power if we will connect it with the fusible link and the other wires so we will be uh, looking for the black wire here so we have many black wires here but it should have a yellow stripes so in the wire harness you can see that we have a black wire here but uh, it has a blue stripes so I'll be having this wire so uh, this wire actually uh, let me just show you that it has actually a black and a yellow stripe so this one this one is the black wire and it has a yellow stripe so it means that this will be our ground so this is uh, here it is in number three so following that one uh, i don't know if this is number three but if i follow the pin here uh, this is actually its uh, spot so it's uh, three from the uh, right or left it depends if you are looking it like that or looking it like this okay so since this is the ground uh, this is my black so i'll be putting my tester here so this is the black wire okay the ground so this is my black uh, wire from the multi-tester and then we will be locating the source the uh, red uh, black so the source for our uh, fusible link is the positive power this is from the battery so if i'm going to uh, connect the black and the red uh, the the one from the multimeter it will be having a 12 uh, at least 12 volts if your battery is good okay so let's uh see the red wire with the black stripes so in here we have uh two reds here actually so this one is a red this one is a red wire uh, actually this is this one it has a stripe uh, a red stripe uh, it's a black wire with a red stripe but this one is the red wire with the black stripes so this is uh, I think number four from the right so uh, they are uh, actually uh, the same uh, they have the same they are in the same row with the uh, ground so let's see if it will uh, have a power so I'll be putting this one this is the fourth and the black wire here and we will see if it will have a 12 volt capacity okay so in the multimeter i will be choosing the dcv here so that's the dcv the dc voltage and i'll put it at 50 uh, because our volt here is uh, 12 if i will put it here at 10 it will overclock our uh, a multimeter so let's check if it has power so kindly look at the multimeter okay so it's moving and yes i think that is 12 uh, volts okay so we are sure that the red wire here is now the fusible link and the black wire with the yellow stripe is the ground okay so that's 12 volts Okay, so let's try the other wire so for the ignition so uh, let me hold this one for the black wire okay and then I will put the red wire to all of the other uh, slots so in here you'll be having a 12 volts 
and for the others you should not have a reading okay so see no reading at all so no reading 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 okay so uh, i will uh, keep the black wire in the uh, earth uh, or the ground uh, position so uh, for the next wire we will be having the ac or the ignition uh, switch which is actually the blue wire so let's look for the blue it's quite uh, it's very easy to look the uh, locate the blue wire here because this is the blue wire and then the blue wire here it connects to this part uh, this pin so if you uh, you try to see this pin is the blue wire there at the back okay so if you see the ignition if you can see the ignition here the, the what we call this the multimeter it has no reading but if i turn on the ignition so here i'll be putting the keys and then yeah so i'll be putting as you can see uh, we have uh, what we call this a reading because that's the ignition uh, uh, supply or that's the acc okay so we already checked the uh, power source, the fusible link, the ignition. And then let's see if uh, our wire here, the last wire is the dimmer uh, that we will be uh, uh, looking. It's the green wire with the white stripes. Okay, so that's our tail lamp or the uh, dimmer. If you want to install a uh, car stereo with dimmer okay so i'll still be putting my uh ground wire to the ground of the harness so it's still here that's the ground and then the dimmer is the green so let's look for the green one so let me flip this one okay so this is the green one so that's the green wire with a white stripe so this is our dimmer so it is number three from the here uh, please do not make my video as the reference uh, make your wire harness as the reference because the green wire might be located in here or in uh, other positions okay so this is the green wire so i'll put my positive there here that's the green wire it's uh, third from the left and my uh, let's go I'll just flip this one and then let's go to the earth wire so this one the three from the uh, left again here so it's here okay so I hope you are able to see it and then so since this is the tail lamp or the dimmer it is connected to our tail light switch so if you try to see here there is no reading but if I will turn on the turn the uh, switch of the headlight the, the tail light uh, this one this is the turn so i'll be turning it so you can you will be able to see that the uh, uh, dash uh, light will be will coming will, will be turned on okay so see that one so the uh, instrument panel uh, lights and the other dash lights is turned on so if you try to see the multimeter it should also have a reading so uh, in the, this case you will know that we are actually having the right connector okay so there we have the four sources we have the dimmer the ignition switch fusible link and the earth ground and uh, you now know that uh, uh, this code is correct and it's true for your car also okay so i'll be turning off the uh, dimmer and also the ignition switch ah, by the way uh, let me turn on the uh, ignition and then the dimmer and then uh, you can check that the other wires are not 
not uh, having power. So if they are not having power, automatically those wires are under the speaker wire. So let me put it there. So these are the four actually. Yeah. So there's no reading. Uh, look also uh, on our multimeter. There's also uh, no reading because I'm uh, poking at the uh, speaker uh, wires. Okay. But if I'm going to put it here, there's a reading because I think that is the this is the dimmer switch. If I poke it here, there's no reading because there's no connection. Here, that's the ignition switch. And this is the fusible switch. So if your dimmer, uh, your tail light, your AC is connected, uh, is on and... Uh, if you poke your negative here, it will be giving you a positive uh, reading, 12 volt reading. And that is how to know that your wires are correctly identified. Okay, so again, start from the earth wire and then look for the fusible link. If it has a positive reading, with uh, the, the, the ignition should be turned off. Okay, if you turn on the igni ignition, then your ignition and the earth wire should have a positive uh, a 12 volt uh, reading. Okay, so I hope that helps in checking your, of course, the other wires are for the speakers. So you can just uh, uh, see again your, uh, our codes or our uh, color coding for the speakers so i did check this one and it's uh, okay with my uh l200 okay so uh yes and the uh, next video i will be uh talking on how are we going to connect the uh, stereo this is stereo to our uh car stereo harness so please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.